This is a 2011 Trek 4300 and it comes with nice lights that go on and off. Just kidding. It's just the flash. <coughs> uh, back here you got your bond trigger wheels. It's oh, that's bright. Uh, uh, 26 inch, 2.1 inch thick. And it's the Ranger, the rims, and the tires are the XR2. I like them. They're pretty strong. As you see, the spokes run parallel. So, it takes a lot of force for it to bend. Um, back here, you got the, the gear set. It's eight gears in the back. The problem I'm getting is this last gear set, which kind of doesn't really go there all the time unless it's a good day or you're nice to the bike you have your Shimano Elevio changer oh. over here you got your pedals your pedal steel Walgo alloy with a reflector which will break off if you hit it which you shouldn't or you could you're a badass. And you have your nice little blue sticker, which is very important on good bikes. They're little stickers with bright colors. It shows professionalism on a good bike. Oh, yeah, we gotta fly there. You have your Alpha Black Aluminum Steel, your SSR seat post, and your Bond Trigger saddle which is fairly uncomfortable because it really hurts as you see and I would recommend getting a gel seat which is right there for now and it cushions fairly nice it feels nice too over here you got oh, well we got this part oh the seat post has 20 centimeters and uh, 30 centimeters and 20 centimeter travel or offset. The front here, we got the same wheel as the back, which is awesome. Highly except expectable. <laughs> you have your spinner 300 hydraulic lock cap and zip ties. I will explain what that is. And over here, you got your reflector. Oh, yeah, we went over this. The disc brake is a uh, 416 mechanical by Shimano or however you say it I recommend changing this because it's fairly noisy after a while or it goes away I just have to wait fairly impatient uh, you have your 10 centimeter travel <coughs> it's good enough for a trail you have your lock out here which is great if you're gonna ride on the road you put your lock on and it will lock the front shocks which will transfer most of your energy to the wheel instead of that the shock over here as you see because it doesn't have never mind over here you have your reflectors again nice little fancy logos and the track logo and my cat eye that's what the zip ties were for. It's my little speedo, speed monitor. And it goes down following the cable. All the brakes, they have fluid in them. And don't mess with that dot four. Dot four is uh, hydraulic for the other fluid for the brake. And if you open it, which I did out of curiosity, it takes some of the oil out if you squeeze it. Oh, and if you take the front rim off, never squeeze the front brakes because that'll close your pads, your brake pads, to where it's adjusted. It has automatic adjustment something. So I recommend putting a block there if you put this in the car. And if you do have a problem, you stick a screwdriver in there and just spread it open. And over here you have, that's about it, 
Yeah. What else? Oh, you got a bike lock, which does not come with it. And your kickstand, which is fairly silly if you leave it on. But who cares? It's your bike. Your little bike. Uh, it's Hornet. Looks cool. Um, most of the components are Bond Trigger and Shimano. The end. Enjoy this bike if you have it or get it. I would recommend getting a normal one without the disc brakes because it comes with the place to mount a disc brake later on. With that, you can put your own, which I might have to change soon because it's bad. This bike is pretty fast and does nice jumps. You will see in a few moments. Goodbye.